have question here is talking about a roadworthiness test on 240 cars. We are told that 60% of the cars passed the test, and then there is a whole lot of statistics on the vehicles that failed the test. We are to eventually draw a Venn diagram to illustrate the information and to determine the number of cars that had 40 bricks and then only one foot. Now, from the information we are given, the roadworthy cars will be 60% of 240 cars. And if you are to calculate that, that will be 60 over 100 times 240. The zeros will cancel out such that we have this to be a total of um, 144 cars. So 144 cars are roadworthy. They don't have any fault. So they are good to go. If you are to use the first alphabet of the fault, we can use C for clutch, S for steering, and B for brakes. Then we can know that the total number of cars, the universal, um, when it comes to the Venn diagram set theory, the total number of cars, the universal, U, we can take that to be 240. We have U is 240. So now we can go ahead to draw our Venn diagram. Okay, so we have clutch, steering, and brakes as the faults that are on the cars. So let's say the yellow is clutch, and then for the steering, we use a green marker. And then for the brake, the vehicles with brake issue, we use um, this. 28 only the are clutch issue so that will be represented in the circle that is not interfacing with anything then we have clutch and steering is 14 as shaded in green but we've been told that clutch steering and brake as shaded now they constitute 8 so if you have 8 here if you have 8 in the center then the order will have to be 6 so that the 2 will add up to 14 that we are told is constituting the clutch and the steering. Now we are also told that the vehicles with clutch and brake issues is 20. Then 8 subtracted from 20 will give us 12. Then with brake and steering only. The only means that the 8 is not included. So we have 6 here. Then now the number of cars with faults only in steering is twice the number of cars with faults in brake only so if brake only is x steering only is 2x and then 144 cars we have noticed to be um roadworthy they are not 40 so that will be outside the circles so um just like that we have our venn diagram for this um, information that we are presented with and then we can go ahead to find the other two um, questions that we are asked to find. Now, we are asked to find that how many cars had 40 bricks and how many cars had only one fault. But here we are finding that we are, we are noticing that there is a variable hex that we need to evaluate and we know that when we sum all of these um, statistics concerning the cars they are all going to sum up to 240 which is the total number of cars that we are considering so 28 plus um, 2x plus x plus now the blue statistics the 6 plus 8 plus 6 and 12 plus the 144 outside is equal to 240 with this you can see that 3x plus and um, let's bring out our calculator 28 plus 6 plus 8 plus 6 plus 12 plus 144 that's 204 so 3x plus 204 is equal to 240 if we Collect like times, 3x will be equal to 36, 
such that x will be 36 over 3 when we divide by 3 all through and that will be 12 cas so our hex is 12 cas meaning that we have all the information concerning this road worthiness that was carried out and we can go ahead to find the number of cars with 40 bricks car with 40 bricks are the ones that are in this pink colored chalk so that will be all the numbers there 12 plus 8 plus 6 plus x and our hex we have found out to be 12 so we can put 12 there and by the time we sum all this we are going to get um, 38 cars so the cars with 40 bricks are 38 in total so now to find the number of cars with only one fourth the cars with only one fourth will mean that um, in the Venn diagram the cars that are not interfacing with any other is not intersecting with any other circle so we have 28 2x and x so the cars with only one fourth will be 28 plus 2x plus x which will be 28 plus 36 and since our x had been found to be 12 that will be 28 plus 36 and that is equal to 64 cars and that is the solution to our problem so that's all we are going to be having in our lecture today we hope that this will be of benefit of use to somebody out there don't forget to subscribe to our channel we have a lot of resources that you can use to enhance your academic excellence and that's our desire that you go out and be the best and as you do all this we know that all will work out together for good until next time god bless you